Hey, what's going on? Behind me are several e-bikes from the Teleria Sting to the Super 73 to the Rave Bullet. But in front of me, a new e-bike has entered the chat and it's the Ho Chi Antelope. And it's the first e-bike of this style that I've brought to the channel. You know, more of your traditional style that you'd see riding around town or up on the casual trails. It's a dual battery bike, but let's unbox this get the antelope set up and see if the Ho Chi, which translates to good ride, lives up to its name. So here it is, the Ho Chi antelope all set up. It is a cargo bike, so I'm actually utilizing the cargo rack right here because I believe the batteries are in this styrofoam package. So let's unbox this last little bit here. There you go. Both batteries. It's like this one snaps. That one snaps right into the front there. Then the rear battery slides right on the back. Looks like I need to raise the seat first. So it comes with two sets of keys, one for the front battery, one for the rear battery. So definitely don't want to lose those. And now I have a mess to clean up in my backyard. So let's do that. And then we'll take a closer look at the Ho Chi antelope. So the Ho Chi Antelope is a dual battery, 48 volt battery. So you're gonna get a lot of range off of this thing. I do love the look of those tires. They're not your traditional spokes. They actually look super sturdy. And for a cargo bike, that is very important. The max payload on this is 400 pounds. That's insane. So you can carry a lot of gear as well as yourself. The motor is a Bafang 500 watt motor. They do have a pro version that's 750 watts. So that would get you a little bit more speed and power. It has seven gears provided by Shimano, and then it has your disc brakes. They are mechanical disc brakes, but disc brakes are very nice. The tires are four inches wide and 20 inches tall. Already got a little dirt on there. But one thing that really impressed me are those metal fenders on both the front and the back. Of course, we have a headlight. Do we have a tail light? Yes, we do, and it looks like it is hooked to power. So this thing is gonna get you around town and where you need to go with all of your groceries. It looks like there's a few ports for accessories, as you can see right here. You can screw some a basket in right there. And then on the front here as well, you can also screw in a front basket. It has a 20 inch suspension with a lockout here. And then the most satisfying thing, peeling off the cover to that massive display. Turning it on is super easy. You don't even have to turn on both batteries. You just hit the power button there and it is on. You have five levels of pedal assist and you long press the up arrow to turn on the headlight and the tail light, which actually has a brake light included. As you can see, it has a half twist throttle. And of course, again, those five step pedal assist. Now with the dual batteries, it takes about six to eight hours to fully charge, but let's check out everything else that came with the bike. Of course, it comes with a manual. I had to reference that a couple of times when setting up the bike. It comes with two chargers, and it also comes with all the tools you need to get the bike set up, including a hand pump. And as mentioned before, two sets of keys, one for the front battery, one for the back battery. So I'm gonna get the Ho Chi Antelope on the charger, and then we'll take it out for a spin. I'm out here on the Ho Chi Antelope, doing a little hill climb. Maybe you can see the miles per hour, not using any pedal assist or gears. Uh, 500 watt motor for, you know, my size. Struggles a little bit uphill, but once you kick in pedal assist and use gears, it's totally fine. Initial impressions of this bike is it's a solid build the seat is pretty comfortable. It's kind of like a gel seat. 
if you wanted to, you could probably put a bigger seat on there, but I'm gonna do a little bit of road riding and then do some off-road. See if I can get to top speed on this. They say top speed's 20, but I looked through the manual. It says you can increase it. Ah, 21, and it feels like the motor was still going. So, maybe I got some, it has some more in it, but we're gonna hit this little trail ahead up here. Nice night. And the the uh, tires on this thing are all terrain. They're not like super knobby, but they feel comfortable on the road. I was actually pretty impressed with the suspension for this bike. Yeah, it cruises right along. I like that it tells you the outside temperature. I don't know if you can see that, but the display is pretty handy. I mean, this is just basically a dirt road. It's not like it's an extreme trail. But, uh, got a lot of people out here. This is kind of my test run for all terrain bikes. Yeah, I'm cruising right along on this thing. Pretty nice. Try this whole trail right here. Dude, it's a solid build. This is a nice bike. And for the price, it competes with, uh, I'd say, a Rad Power bike. It's not bad. So Ho Chi did send me this bike to test out. And I promise you, I'm not just saying this because they sent it to me, but I'm actually impressed with this bike. So far, the trail capabilities and the little bit of street riding, that goes without saying. It's torquey, the pedal assist is nice, and I feel like 500 watts is fine for a bike like this, especially if it's an introductory bike for you, if it's an introductory e-bike. And another thing that's super nice is if you're watching this right around Father's Day, they have some amazing sales going on. And they're also throwing in a whole bunch of extras, like extra cargo bags and helmets and some discounts. They even have some discounts on if you buy two bikes. But yeah, this brand just kind of came out of nowhere for me. And for this standard, typical e-bike like you'd see on any city street or any trail, it does the trick. I'd say it gives a company like Rad Power Bikes a run for their money or a run for your money. Let's get just a little bit more extreme here. Of course, this trial I'm riding isn't too crazy, but I know this section's been washed out a little bit. back in civilization on the Ho Chi, which translates to good ride, antelope. All their bikes are named after animals on their site, so you have to check them out. Let's see if I can get a top speed on here. This road doesn't have a stop sign for a while. 19 miles an hour. It feels faster than that. I did adjust the wheels and the settings. Twenty-one, twenty-two. I can still feel the motor going, but you got five hundred watts. These are some of the better mechanical brakes that I felt, as opposed to hydraulic brakes on most high-end bikes. 
It is kind of surprising at this price point that they aren't hydraulic. Kochi, thank you for letting me try out the Antelope, which is the cargo bike that comes with a 500 watt motor. Another thing that I'd like to mention is that they have a three year warranty on their batteries, which is pretty much unheard of in this space. The Antelope comes in two colors, this awesome matte black, which I love, and a white color. But if this step through cargo bike really isn't your style, they also have some other options on their site. And like I mentioned when I was out riding around, they have some pretty sweet deals. If you buy this bike, it comes with all sorts of goodies. They have some discounts. This one right now is for sale for $1,699. Anyway, you know what to do. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What do you think about the Antelope? Is this a bike that you could see yourself riding? And of course, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Have a great rest of your day.